Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Que Pasa. Sitting next to, of course, Destination El Paso's Lauren Falco. We're sitting here on the stoop of the convention. We're just hanging out <laughs> at the convention center plaza. Lauren, yeah. why are we hanging outside today? So this is the location, the brand new location of Way Out West Festival. Which, right, we've moved it. Yes, we talked a little bit about it last we week, and I really wanted to, to hone it in because this is going to be a, an incredible festival, one of the biggest festivals in downtown El Paso, Absolutely. if not the biggest festival in downtown El Paso. Um, and it's going to be exciting. We have Billy Currington as the main headliner. Huge guest. Such a great guest. Uh, we're going to have some really great musicians. They have other, of course, like supporting acts. We have a local stage. Uh, and then right here where we are, they're going to have a chili challenge and a margarita challenge sponsored by Tres yeah. Generaciones. Sign me up for that. I mean, Billy Currington yes. was enough to get me to go, but then you say chili and I'm... Chili and margarita. I'm like, there. What can, you, what can you want more? September 28th, downtown El Paso, epwayoutwest.com. All right, here's a great one for people of all kinds, all shapes, all sizes, all creeds. Everybody loves wine. Everybody loves yoga. Everybody. We're bringing them together. Yes, at Zin Valle, they're hosting a wine and yoga event. Uh, it's $25 at Zin Valle. It's awesome. I love the idea of doing this in the vineyard. So this is your perfect opportunity. It's happening August 31st at Zin Valle. Again, you can go to their website. $25 gets you in. Yeah, it's right there. It's right in the vineyard. It's right you there. Don't, you have to go anywhere to get the wine. Yeah, it's it, perfect. It's right locally Bring sourced. Bring it straight open. to you. Yeah, on your yoga mat. That, <laughs> this is great stuff. Well, fun event coming up mm -hmm. in Sunland Park. I think so. It's going to be a hazy night moon market. It's really close to the racetracks. It yeah. is right next to all the dispensaries, which is yes. probably why it's called the <laughs> hazy, hazy moon. moon. Yeah. <laughs> Best. It seems like it be, could be a really interesting little uh, little event down there. Yeah. I'm not sure what all is going to be there, but that's why it's free. You got to go check it out. Um, that's August 31st, the hazy moon market. Again, right near Sunland Park. So head down there that night and it'll be perfect. Well, if you're a big fan of tacos and hanging out late at night, which honestly, who isn't around <laughs> these parts? I don't know about me anymore. Well, we're, we're getting to that age now. We're 8 o'clock. Right. It's really enticing. But for those of you that are still can hang it at 12 a.m. and eat tacos to your heart's desire, it's exactly the event for you. This is going to be Tacos y Mas Festival. So really, it has everything, everything. and more. It's in the Northeast at Club 1111. It's going to have really great bands. Um, the Coma La Flor Experience, which is going to be a full Selena tribute, will be there. And the Northeast, beautiful place in the evening. The sunsets there are spectacular. Oh, perfect view of the mountains. So really, it's it's the perfect thing. And mm -hmm. until midnight, I mean, you can show up whenever you want. We really. won't be there. No, but, we'll be asleep <laughs> at 8 o'clock. You can definitely go. You can definitely go. Well, Halloween is right around the corner. It's going to be September soon, which basically means it's Halloween already. It's pretty much Halloween. Especially yeah. for El Paso, yes. right? You guys go crazy for Halloween Big here. Big Halloween town. Paranormal in the park, making a comeback. Yes, Paranormal in the park. It's going to have lore. It's going to have legends. It's going to have ghost stories. It's perfect for kids of all ages and the dogs. You can bring the dogs too in case they're interested in ghost stories. The dogs like paranormal activity yes, as well. Yes, you, you never know. You just We don't know enough about it, right? They got that sixth sense. <laughs> they might be able to sense the ghosts. I don't know. We don't know yet. That's why you have to take them to Paranormal at the park. It's going to happen at Haddock's Family Park um, in central El Paso on September 1st and it's a free event. So bring as many kids as you want, bring as many parents as you want. It's a dogs. perfect way to kick off the Halloween season. Well, Lauren, one more time, Way Out West Fest coming up. That's why we're hanging out uh, here at the plaza. One more time for the audience, dates, how you can get in, what do we got available? epwayoutwest.com, you can find tickets there. VIP is pretty much, it's it's getting close to sell out, guys. If it, if it isn't selling out, you gotta get on that now. Um, we already sold out Cowboy Cantina. You have GA still available, but there is some really, really incredible acts coming. I highly suggest getting your tickets now and not at the door because that is a mess usually trying to figure out how to get tickets yeah. into a festival. And Lauren, if the folks want to learn more about the stuff we share in this episode, where can they go? Destination El Paso. Just kidding. Visit ElPaso.com. There you go. Visit <laughs> ElPaso.com. You're going to want to see it. Lots of events coming up this week. Thanks for hanging out with us on this week's episode of Cape Pasa. We'll see you right back here next week.